live from the Daga Auditorium at the UWE St. Augustine campus. This is the grand finale of UWE Got Talent 2019. This evening, we recognize and celebrate talent excellence as 16 dynamic student performers take to the stage to vie for the coveted title. Who will it be? Join us stateside as we honor the performing arts disciplines of voice, music, dance, and performance art at the UWE St. Augustine campus. This is the grand finals of UWE Got Talent. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and welcome your host for the evening, Mr. Hans Devine. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. We are here live at the Daga Auditorium for a very exciting and historic moment. This is the very first installment of You We Got Talent. This is a comprehensive program designed to recognize, develop, and celebrate talent excellence within the UE St. Augustine student population across the performing arts disciplines of voice, music, dance, and performance art. Now, over the years, as you all know, the University of the West Indies has produced hundreds of outstanding global citizens that have contributed to the development of economies, arts and culture, education, food and agriculture, science and technology, legislation, and the list goes on. The University of the West Indies, St. Augustine in particular, is indeed dynamic in its composition and inclusive as reflected in the opportunities and diverse suite of programs offered to all members of the campus community. At this institution, there's a place for everyone. And this evening, we pay tribute to all the performing artists of the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. Let's get a round of applause for all the artists. So some of y'all are probably wondering, where did UWE Got Talent come from? It was inspired by a dream to celebrate the performing talents of the UWE community and a keen desire to raise awareness of the importance and value of the performing arts towards society. UWE Got Talent was birthed through all of this. At the core of this program is the philosophy that the arts has a grave responsibility in uniting people of all races, ages, and backgrounds. The program is purpose to further promote integration and community building at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. And through the process, produce and inspire scores of respected performing artists that will use their talents and creative abilities for artistic excellence, social healing, and unity. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me take you a little bit through the process. From an online launch in August to an intense two-day round of auditions in September, an impromptu semi-final round, multiple coaching sessions, workshops, and rehearsals. We are now here this evening for the grand finals of UE's Got Talent, here at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine. We have 15 amazing, talented acts that will grace our stage. Collectively, our performers represent the talent excellence within the student population at UE St. Augustine. And you, the audience, will witness a spectacular showcase as these talented performers vie for a grand crash prize of $10,000. Money is up tonight. All right, let's do a little roll call and see who you all are here for this evening. Our performers this evening are Kamar Romano. Aoife, Anna Maria Ball, Emmanuel Joseph, Samuel Preeti, Prime Nation, Brian Peters, Shamaya Lewis, Shad and Shadi, Jerome Richardson, Dominique Latchman, Sergio and Nkosi. Jenea Clark. Tamer Williams. And Joshua Arun. Let's hear it for our 15 finalists. 
This is the grand finale of UE Got Talent 2019, and it's being brought to you by the University of the West Indies St. Augustine Guild Council in collaboration with the Division of Student Services and Development, and it is sponsored in part by Coca-Cola. So let's give Coca-Cola a round of applause for jumping on board. Over the years, the Guild Council has been consistent in their efforts towards supporting holistic student life and development on campus. And this year, the Guild's contribution to the fruition of the UE Got Talent program is testimony to their mission. To bring us greetings at this time, please help me welcome from the Guild Executive, Guild Treasurer, Dawishi Gaitan. Let's hear it for Dawishi. Y'all can keep the applause coming as though she makes his way to the stage. Professor Brian Copeland, Pro Vice Chancellor and Campus Principal for the UE St. Augustine Campus. Professor Indar Ramnarine, Deputy Principal. Dr. Dawn Marie, the Fogel Campus Registrar. Dr. Deidre Charles, Director for the Division of Student Services and Development, other members of Senior Administration, esteemed panel of judges, my comrades on the Guild of Students Council 2019-2020, and you, this wonderful audience, I thank you. I would like to thank you all for being a part of a new venture that the Guild has undertaken, UE's Got Talent. A brainchild of Mr. Jarrell Alder, UE's Got Talent seeks to promote the talent that thrives right here in the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, but also seeks to celebrate our beautiful Caribbean arts and culture. The Guild of Students has taken the position to fully finance and embrace this project as part of our mandate to aid in the creation of the holistically developed student for the 21st century. For as science seeks to understand where we are, the arts and cultures seeks to feed the ideal of who we are and who we ought to be. And with all that being said, I welcome all of you to kick back, relax, and enjoy us, and enjoy, sorry, join us in celebrating the best of what UE has to offer. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to get the competition started as we prepare to meet our finalists. This evening's showcase will feature 15 performance acts across the disciplines of voice, music, dance, and performance arts. In the first round, pay attention to this. In the first round, each performer will be given three minutes on stage, and the top three performers with the highest scores will then advance to round two, where they will perform for a second time, after which the 2019 UE Got Talent Champion will be announced. Ladies and gentlemen, tell me something. Are you all ready? You all don't sound like you're ready. I'm going to ask that again. Are you all ready? Well, guess what? I am definitely ready. It is time to change it up. It is time to get it started. Let me not fall. Lights on, let's get ready to do this. Here we go. Our first act hails from the Faculty of Engineering. He's been performing 10 years and his career ambition is to be a product designer. When asked why he does what he does, he sings because it allows him to share with the world the soundtrack of his life that is constantly playing in his head. It brings joy and calm to his life when chaos is surrounding him. Seeing others enjoy the sound of his music is secondary to the happiness he feels within. Asked what he intends to achieve from being a participant in UE Got Talent 2019, through this program, he intends to reconnect with a love that he forgot he had for performing. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for, for performer number one tonight. Give it up for Kamau Romano! I found love in you And I've learned to love That I could be all that you see It's like our hearts have intertwined Into the perfect harmony This is my love Ooh, this is my love Because you love me You love me And no other love will do Every moment that you smile Chases all the pain away Forever and a while In my heart is where you stay This is why I love you Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it once again for Kamal Romano. <laughs> we are off to a start, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> All right, let's get into our second performer. His degree is in theater arts and festival management. Humanities and education, are you all here tonight? He says his theatrical performance skill was first discovered by his mother, who has supported his entire journey. His advice for upcoming performers, remember that it is not for the weak and faint-hearted. You have to thrive. You must stay strong physically, mentally, emotionally, and for him, most of all, spiritually. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into contestant number two. Inside you, we got talent. Put your hands together for Ifa. A smelling blood. 
But look, everywhere is blood. And the sea is only when the rain falls in Trinidad is when it does flood. <laughs> but look, I see in, I see a blood. <laughs> oh, yes, Father God. <laughs> Who am I? I am a ghost, a deadly visage sent to your future's past. Back to the future or back from the dead. Here I am to see the unsaid. Trinbago colors change from black to white and then to fully red. You have become a drunken society. Only taking shots to the head, pow, to the head, pow, to the head, pow. Headshots, headshots, headshots. When the bad boy is getting on point like they're shooting with red dots. I am the future, which is my present, so fear not. And my gift to you is that you still have a chance to take a haircut and groom the society to perfection. Stop the crime rate from rising like a violent erection. <laughs> eh? What was your perception of a futuristic nation? That it could be a walk in the park like a pigeon point vacation? <laughs> Not if you continue with this hand. Nasty mastication. With the people in authorities constantly knowing at your inhibitions. A country painted in blood was your tradition? Yes, I'm referring to the politics that wink at you on occasion when they require that red on your index finger position. Well, the finger's pointing at you because I am 10 times worse than a guy in Griffith Commission. <laughs> you want to carry on with this mediocrity mentality until boom fatality, I win. As the chanteurs can't stop singing and the flambeau fire glistens, mother's voices scream and echo and ring. Oh, that's too wicked! It's the new iPhone thing. Why are you acting surprised when the motto is not enough money making and the societal norms clearly constitute that number one, you're not bad, and number two, once the gun not pointing at you until they rub you blind like a bat without a clue. You see, I am the man of steel. <laughs> and what I stole is the Trinbegonian soul. The morals you once held as gold have now become old and a long time thing. So let us all as birds of a feather clasp our wings together and sing. Forge from the love of liberty in the fire of hope and prayer. With boundless faith in our destiny, we solemnly declare, is this the future you want? Be prepared. <laughs> Yo, let's hear it for Aoife. Y'all can do a little better than that. I just want to say it's more like, all you're too wicked. <laughs> all right, our so next performer. Well, so far we've heard a voice. We've got some performance art. And now we get ready for some dance. Our next performer represents the Faculty of Food and Agriculture. She wants her performances to reflect her passion for dance and show others that dance is an art form that requires hard work, passion, and dedication. Her inspiration has always been her mother, her passion, and her drive to be a better person. Encouraged, these, these factors encouraged her to start dancing. Her dance teacher, however, has always pushed her to learn more and become a better performer overall. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Anna Marie Ball. Mere dholna sun, 
Let's hear it for Anna Maria. Tell all this action here tonight, you know. Our next performer, well, so far, we've seen some performance art, we've seen dance, we've even had voice. Our next performer is coming on stage with the national instrument of our Twin Island Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. His career ambition is to be a literature teacher or musicologist. His desire is to always connect with the audience for whom he's entertaining and have them enjoy his music just as much as he does. The joy and ecstasy, if not more than he does. It's really important to him. So tonight, hopefully you all can just enjoy. That's his hope for you. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Emmanuel Joseph. So I won't lie, I didn't know he was gonna dance as well. He also dances, all right? <laughs> Let's get into our next performer. 
He represents the Faculty of Food and Agriculture. His career ambition is to be a geophysicist, and music is an escape for him. He's always loved singing and all the emotions that come with it. As a participant in UGT 2019, new opportunities in the, mu in the music industry, exposure and recognition as a vocalist are the things that he wants to achieve. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your attention to the stage as I welcome Mr. Samuel Pretty. I was born by the river in a little tent, yeah. And just like the river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know a change is going to come. Oh, yes, it will. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die. Cause I don't know what's up there beyond the sky. It's been a long, a long time coming. But I know a change is going to come. Oh, yes, it will. One more thing. I go to the movies and I go downtown. But somebody's always telling me, yeah, I don't want you hanging around. It's been a long Oh yes, a long time coming, but I know that a change is gonna come. Oh yes, it will. Listen, yeah. So then I go on to my brother, yeah. And I said, brother, would you help me, please? Oh. Yeah. But then he winds up knocking, 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 knocking me right back down on my knees. Yeah, there's been times that I thought I wouldn't last for long. But now I think that I'm able I'm able to carry on. It's been a long, oh yes it is, a long time coming. I know a change is gonna come. Oh yes it will. All right, you all Samuel Pretty, let's get a round of applause for him once again. So up next, we have a little bit of a combination happening, right? They want to be professional musicians and music therapists. They all have a passion for music and a sheer desire to inspire others by the musical songs they produce. They want to use their music to tell stories. Now here's the thing with this group that I'm about to bring on stage. When asked what they want to achieve by being part of You We Got Talent 2019, everybody said nice things. Hey, I want to gain exposure. Hey, I want to learn. Hey, I want to share in the experience. You know what they said? We want $10,000. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Prime Nation.
my father made himself wine when the music dropped. He was Jesus on the dance floor, a king of resurrection. I can only imagine the music. Jump, jump, don't this make up, wanna jump, jump, don't this make up, wanna jump, jump, don't this make up, wanna jump, jump, or duck, or fall. Or move like we've always been accustomed to gunshots. Like this is not a new body. Like we've been new body. Like we've been used to being bombarded for being by the border. Having to skip to Malu away from death. Like the street is a dance floor dog. I still know to jerk and doggy. I can only imagine how my father used to MC hammer the damn floor. He used to dance in darkness and empty clip. I mean, he used to give tips on how to dance. And mommy says she never see a man palance so yet. All these stiff men was spirits or needed spirits. But I just wanted to learn how to shoot, shoot, shoot. When last you see a man, salsa like he's Spanish. Change the tempo from doop doop to generation dancers so I can only imagine how my grandfather used to wade in the water but how long you could wade before you forget why you're there how long you could wade before you forget how to wade how long you could wade before the water becomes a place for weights Maria, Maria, she fell in love in East LA to the sounds of the guitar yeah. played by Carlos Santana When last you see a man salsa like he's Spanish, change the tempo from doop doop to. It's not even music anymore, it's more like dark! Dark! The man that doesn't dark! You either go home alone or you're not going home. Mommy said that daddy was a good man. And still your children. So in the name of my father. My son and my soon to be that Holy simply Ghost. Means this I'm ready love to is be incomplete. a good man too. Jerusalem. 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 Yeah, guys, that's here for Prime Nation. So our next performer, his career ambition is to be a clinical psychologist slash choreographer. He releases everything that he's feeling on stage. At first, he used to dance as a hobby, but over time, he recognized it's an avenue to be free and to be his true self, creatively. He likes the saying, freedom of expression, and he uses the on-stage experience to be free in the world of dance. Put your hands together for Brian Peters!
Once again, let's hear it for Brian Peters. I see some of Brian's people up there. I heard you all. It's his birthday. Nice. I hope all they bring cake, yeah? And I hope all they're sharing too. All right, our next performer. She performs because it's the one place she feels at ease. She's at home behind the mic. It's a resting place. Putting pen to paper, inking smiles and metaphors. It's a meditation. She does this to assist others and present the world from a different point of view. But most of all, she does it for her, to keep herself grounded. Asked, what does she expect to gain from being part of You We Got Talent? She said, well, aside from $10,000, I intend to test the limits of my talent. She's very accustomed to performing spoken word at spoken word competitions only. To compete against people with various talents will be a whole new experience for her. And she'd like to see how it all turns out. Put your hands together for Shemaya Lewis. Hello, I am XX, existing to accept XY commands, programmed with pocketed smiles and yeses. Yes, you can have my number, yes. We'll go out sometime, yes. I'll send you nudes. Obey, without question. Be quest and prize. Be the red gal who never replies. The darky who feels she is a red gal and never replies. <laughs> it's in my DNA. Ones and zeros, A's and I's. I, 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 I am here to serve. Sex. My programmer's face curved around my curves. Flat stomach, thick thighs, big breasts. Can't see a gym yet, but this body is not mine. So it will be what they want me to be. Be, 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 malfunction. <laughs> but if I like you, you gotta like me too. Can't be looking nice, so I expect nobody to talk to you. Body like an hourglass and you don't have time for me. Better smile before I stick a chip and fix that glitch there. Answer me when I'm talking. I say good morning. Well, don't answer. You ugly bit malfunction. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. So, so, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's my fault. My curves give signals subtle, sometimes I don't notice. When I walk, I ask to be violated, sorry. When traveling, I have to keep one hand on the lock and one hand on my phone, sorry. No, it's not this algorithm, no. Doesn't ride this algorithm, no. Rides this mechanism to feminism and dies are no. So, it's my fault. Fault, 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 fault in program. Program reset. Yes. It's not our default settings. It is not our fault some men are not human beings. Let's rip wires, hack, decrypt, dissolve demands. We are more than their perception of a red girl or a darky. We'll configure our figure to our desire, stand together and not care whether they prefer no makeup or weave. We do not exist. We, 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 we do not exist to please their insert eggplant emoji hair or stroke their ego. Go, 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 now reset. Hello, I am XX. No, I said reset. I am XX. No, reset, reset, re 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 reset, stop. We are XX, XX. Existing to accept respect from XXXY. 
and no man can code our minds to their desires because, because our body is ours. Yo, that's it for Shamal Lewis. All right. Our next act is a duo. Now, when singing, one of them says he bears his soul. He shows the world who he is without inhibition, his true self. The other one says he's still attempting to figure out his place in music and its place in him. But music has been very good to him throughout his entire life, and he would like to reciprocate. Now, when asked what he intends or what they intend to achieve through You We Got Talent 2019, they said, listen, we are excited about the development and education of the entire experience, as well as the opportunity to network. They said tonight they're, they're presenting and performing something very unique. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Ashad Ford and Mohammed Shadi, AKA Shad and Shadi. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Shad and Shadi. Why not take a little rest in between? All right. No lie, y'all. That kind of reminds me of Sesame Street. You remember? Come, follow, follow, follow. Okay, y'all not Sesame Street fans. I get it. All right. So our next act, he is a dancer. And he's been many places dancing. He says, dance to express not dance to impress. Please put your hands together 
for Jerome B-Boy 10 Richardson. Give it a round of applause. Good day, class. Uh, my name is Mr. Smith, and I'll be your teacher for today. I repeat after me. After me. Heard one little voice across there. Charo! You can see it again for me. Well done. That's a good friend. All right, our next performer says, Don't let anyone tell you what you can or cannot be. You will regret it. Please put your hands together for Dominique Latchman. Give it up! Amigo 
Let's hear for Dominique once again. Our next act, they say tonight, they bring in the vibes, right? So let's allow them to bring the vibes. Please put your hands together for Sergio Camejo and Nicole Sucre. Everybody hanging here right now. We're gonna thank God for life. So wait for me. There we go. Thank God I'm alive and well. I'm alive and well. I'm alive and well. I'm alive and well. And ain't no fake smile. Tell me I can't tell. Oh, oh, oh. But, but mine, I don't know who's in here, but tell them you ain't seen me now. Ain't seen me now. Ain't seen me now. And the young people, I beg you, please, when you see me, you'll see me now. The seamen are, the seamen are. Where the everybody put your hand in the air, rag in the air. I said, have a big plan for way, hand in the air, rag in the air, yeah. hand in the air. So everybody put your hand in the air, rag in the air. I said, have a big plan for way, hand in the air, rag in the air, Fire go upon them. Give it up for Sergio and Kosi again, please. Our next performer, she has been singing since she was four years old, as her mother and grandmother trained her from that early. Please put your hands together for Janaya Clark. Still I rise 
Let's move on along to our next performer. Now, we have 15. Our next performer is number 14. So, I hope some of y'all ready to make noise for when we say who are the top three, all right? I hope you're all ready for that because that's going to be Bacchanal. That's not what the script said. And there's a reason why we ain't talking that yet now. You know what I'm saying? So just let the host do what the hosts do now. You know what I'm saying? All right? Anyway, <laughs> just played. <laughs> let me get back to, ho to host mode. All right, contestant number 14 at six years old. Because she used to do crazy stuff and flip at home, her parents got scared. And they said, you know what? We need to put him in gymnastics. So here she is performing for y'all. Make some noise for Tamer Williams. Thank you. 
She make it look real easy, yeah? Like impressively. She really make it look easy, you know? Watch where you go, man. Try that and bust your face, you know? <laughs> All right, let me tell you a little bit about contestant number 15. So, for the audition, right? Quite a few people decided to use this young man as their accompanying musician and he was like I hear so it's best audition too and a lot of them are not in the finals but he's in the finals so ladies and gentlemen please put your hands together for Joshua Arun Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it once again for Joshua Arun. Let's hear it for Tamer Williams, Janaya Clark, Sergio Nicosi, Dominique, Jerome, Shad and Shadi, Shamaya Lewis, Brian Peters, Prime Nation, Samuel Pretty, Emmanuel Joseph, Anna Maria Paul, Ifa, and Kamal Romano, our 15 finalists. Inside, you we got talent 2019. Are you ready to find out who's the winner? Who is the champion? And the winner of the first ever You We Got Talent winning the $10,000 cash prize 
courtesy the University of the West Indies, Guild of Students. Let's learn a little bit about the audition process. How was it? Okay, so um, the call went out for participants in August. Um, we had two audition days, auditioned over 100 students. And of course, from that 100, we had a mandate to bring it down to 15, which of course we couldn't do because they were all so good. So we had a, a, a callback that wasn't planned for about 34, 35 of them, and to get the best of what you're, the, the best. The, that's the ones that you're seeing tonight, of course. What about the coaching sessions? Oh, man, I'm telling you, based on the presentation tonight, I don't, I don't want to take too much of credit, but based on the presentation, I can tell you the, the coaching sessions were because I see so much improvement in every single participant. They were teachable, they were very, very coachable, very willing to learn, and I'm wonderful overall. Well, this is 2019, and we're looking forward to you, you got talent. 2020. Why is this program so important? Well, we're talking about developing, we're talking about sending persons who are, who have been developed holistically out into the world. We know you have wonderful academic programs here, but we also want to give them the opportunity to get involved in, in, in our other stuff, sport, art. That's how we raise, we get balanced people. We send them out balanced and, and give them options in terms of careers as well. Ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for our Chief Judge, yeah. Vaughn and Bigford. Yeah. And here it is, the results. Wow. All right, you all. So the judges have pulled a fast one on all of us. We originally were told it was three. After which, they decided it was five. But even after which, they decided six. Are you all ready to find out the six top performers? Before we do that, let's acknowledge our sponsors, the University of the West Indies Guild of Students, Coca-Cola, Hyatt Regency Limited, Movie Town, RIK Bookstore, Kyle Walcott Photography, Beat Cafe, Angostura, Shamir, The Crib Star Studios, Fresh Voices Productions, Long Weekend, Mace Limited, Ratatouille Catering, and Caribbean Airlines Limited. Let's get a big round of applause for all our sponsors. And our hardworking judges as well. So let's get into it. One of these six individuals will be crowned a champion tonight and walk away with a $10,000 cash prize. Who will it be? Your top five in no particular order. Ah, you see all they're paying attention. I see ya. Come on, Romano! Shemaya Lewis! Shad and Shadi! Janaya Clark! Emmanuel Joseph! And the final spot goes to Brian Peters! So there you have it. Our top six. Are you all ready for round two? This is the grand finale of You We Got Talent 2019. We begin the second round with a young man whose voice wowed us in the first round. Please put your hands together for Kamau Romano. I 
would use my pencil. Oh, I would use my voice if I were a singer. Ooh, no matter who or if we are, we must pray. If I were a doctor, I would use my research. Prolific dissertation. Oh, if I were a speaker, I would use my hands. If I were a potter, oh, no matter who or what we are, we must pray. A joyful noise unto the Lord, all these people. Whoa, whoa, no matter who or what we are, we must praise. Oh, let the people, whoa, whoa, let the people of God bless them. Let it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it once again for Kamal. In the first round, she gave us her piece and she ripped it apart and she had you all going. Ladies and gentlemen, number two in our top six. Let's hear it for Shamaya Lewis. question. Um, who you really feel you is? Is you who ask me to Freddy Krueger your dreams? You choose to live in this loop of Friday 13th and now you vex that I is your nightmare on Elm Street? Who am I? <laughs> More like, how can I trap your mind in a closet of self-doubt? R. Kelly, your thoughts, watch your fake smiles and cry whilst I piss in your mouth. <laughs> Who am I? Well, I am Trevor Sears. A spirit of what Trevor says come to cure ya this delusion of greatness. Spray some big on in your eyes so you could see is not the greatest. For years, I bring in students here. They pray, fast, prepare for months just to fuss about slow Wi-Fi on campus. And if you listen carefully, you could hear their voices crying out to me. <laughs> Well, my eyes bleed to please you. My tears tear pages till all the lines disappear. So tell me, what I fighting for? I lose my sanity because you, you didn't want to make things easy. I will never look 
at a book ever again. I thought this university thing was the rightest thing, but nothing right about fright being the foundation of my life. Nothing right about that. Now we, now we, now we. <laughs> Who am I to lie? I'm the red to your DM who never reply. I am the tears you cry when you cram for your 9 a.m. exam. I am the reason why that line so long and burst through the day before late fees. Who am I? Well, I am a west of the north. You thought I would be. I am death wrapped in your degree. Who am I? I am your worst nightmares disguised as a commercial peaceful greens. I am the university of the West Indies. Fear me, wear me as warning to anyone brave enough to try me. So done. All you leave. Believe everything you hear before and after this is the breed. This is you, we got talent, and who say this is not a massacre? Who say this is not a war? My war. And I'll burn you dark and crisp to the core till you're brave enough to keep up with what you're fighting for. All right, y'all. Let's hear it for Shamaya. Give her a round of applause. Together, they've been working as a team for over seven years. They are here in the second round of UE Got Talent to wow you once again. Let's hear it for Shad and Shadi. That's what we 
we doing out here? Okay. I didn't know it was like that. You want to say it once again for Shad and Shadi? It's clear to see that Yui really does have talent. The next performer for her second piece, she said she's going to come with a Whitney Houston song. Please put your hands together for Janaya! Because tonight is the night, boy. Simmer down, simmer down, simmer down. We're going to move into our next performer. He danced and he beat his pan into the second round. Please put your hands together for Emmanuel Joseph.
You all see what happens when they use my mic, right? Sorry, I can't help it. All right, good. We have one more. One more performance. And we will decide who is going home with $10,000 tonight. He dances way into round two. Please make some noise for Brian Peters. I'm the youth, hey, I am the greatest, hey, this is the proof, hey, I work hard, pray hard, pay dues, hey, I transform with pressure, I'm hands on with effort, I fell twice before, my bounce back was special, let down so get you, if the critics are tissue, but the strongest survive, another scar may bless you, I don't give up, no, 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 Now at the helm of the UE Got Talent program is a skilled and dynamic young man whose time and investment has resulted into this beautiful experience we had tonight. It was an experience for all persons involved in the process. He serves as the program coordinator within the Division of Student Services and Development at the University of the West Indies, St. Augustine and has over the years demonstrated his commitment to excellence in design, student development, and event programming. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in inviting to the stage Mr. Jarrell Holder. Good evening, everyone. In this moment, I focus my thoughts on the wonderful things that are. I focus my heart on the fulfilling things that will be, and in everything, I give thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel privileged and truly honored this evening to have this opportunity in this moment to formally express gratitude to all the persons that have made not just this evening's production possible, but a successful staging of the Uyghur Talent Program for 2019. 
As with everything, I start with giving thanks to the Almighty God for life, favor, blessings, mercy, and love, for being the center of my universe and for guiding life's journey. My experiences as a student not so long ago at the U.S. St. Augustine campus proved to be in many ways enriching, educational, inspiring, transformational, and above all, life-changing. It is at this institution that I was able to acquire a plethora of learning experiences, embrace my uniqueness, develop the confidence to be my authentic self, discover the value of my societal contributions as a young creative, understand the, be the power of being an independent thinker, the importance of having a good character, being grounded by sound morals and values, and the rewards of honoring my responsibility and lifelong commitment to education and holistic development. It is a combination of these experiences that aided in my personal and professional development and stimulated the desire I hold today, which is to strive to impact and give back to the institution in the ways that the institution gave to me. To the U.S. St. Augustine Gill Council, thank you for the healthy partnerships over the years to collaborate towards designing and producing quality student programming and event experiences for the benefit of our student population. UBI Got Talent is our latest initiative, and yet again, I'm appreciative of your support and for trusting me. Thank you. <laughs> to Dr. Deji Charles, Director of the Division of Student Services and Development, thank you for your continued support and for allowing me the opportunity to create express and produce. To all my colleagues in the Division of Student Services and Development, thank you for your contribution to this process and for going the extra mile. Ms. Lewis, thank you. To the industry professionals that served as audi audition judges and coaches during this process, I cannot thank you enough for your time and personal investments. You have certainly added much value to this experience for all of us and you have contributed to the organic development of the UE Got Talent program. Thank you for binding us together as a family. Thank you for supporting the development of our student performers. And thank you for regarding this program as valuable. Sincere thank you to the entire judging panel this evening. The successful staging of tonight's production is owed to a number of persons, my suppliers turned friends who give generously who go above and beyond without, with little to no financial rewards, but who constantly remind me that the relationships we have built are far more valuable than a business transaction. I sincerely thank you. Mrs. Bernice Thomas and the staff of the LRC, colleagues in the Marketing and Communications Office, colleagues at Campus Security Office, Stacy Hackshaw and the Ace Creation team, thank you for outfitting our stage and satisfying decor needs in a way that reflects the magic of the UEGA Talent Program. Shamari and the Ready Mix team, for sound, thank you for going the extra mile. The hardworking and loyal upstage events team for our stage management services, infrastructure, and special effects, thank you. Kyle Walcott and his team for photography and videography services, thank you for facilitating us each time. Kurt Roberts of MK Studios for your consistently amazing artwork and graphics, and for believing. To our main sponsor, Coca-Cola, Mr. Anthony Loveless, thank you for everything. To all our sponsors, thank you for being generous in your support of this program. To Mr. Hans Devines, thank you for being an excellent host, always. To Mr. Mikey Singh and the Mace Limited team for lighting, thank you for believing in this program and for going the extra mile. To the persons in my life that serve as mentors but may be unaware, Dr. Huggins, Mr. Murray, thank you for the love and support. Heartfelt thanks to Dr. The Honorable Nyan Gatsby Dolly and all the university staff officials that came out and supported this evening. Professor Brian Copeland, Professor Inda Ramnarain, Dr. Don Marie de Fugil, Mrs. Winner Gregorio, thank you for the continued support. This process could not be managed single handedly, and so I take this opportunity to publicly thank my friends turned family, Amanda Bess Noel and Shedrach Warrell, for giving so much of yourself and your time to this process for being invested, for supporting, for anchoring, and for always being there for me, as true friends will. Lastly, to all our participating students that availed themselves of this opportunity, 
Thank you for joining me on this exploration process and for allowing me to be part of your development. You are all stars indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for supporting You We Got Talent 2019. As we near the end of this evening's event and get closer to the announcement of our winners, let's welcome back to the stage all of our finalists this evening, accompanied by our top six, as we honor them for their participation in You We Got Talent. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, for all our finalists. acts we saw tonight 15 fantastic acts that prove that Yui has got talent give them a round of applause y'all so we want to call forward guild postgrad rep Devon Harris to join us on stage for our consolation prizes as well as Guild PRO, Mr. Philip, come forward. And he's actually been, a lot of these guys from the Guild people may not talk about it, but these guys have been part of the process from very early, supporting it, making sure it happens, making sure that they are most present. So to all our acts that didn't necessarily make it in the top six, we have prizes for you all. All right? We also have our, yeah, give them a round of applause for that. All right. We have our prizes there. Okay. So let's actually um, organize our we also like to acknowledge Coca-Cola, one of our main sponsors this evening. Yeah, let's hear it for Coca-Cola. And we want to actually call down our Coca-Cola rep, Mr. Anthony Loveless, to join us on stage at this point in time as well. Mr. Loveless, give him a big round of applause. All right, guys, we could, we could probably go on that side. Let's actually, yeah. So acts that didn't necessarily make it into the top six, but this doesn't stop the fact that they are excellent. Yeah. All right, we'll start on this end, Joshua. Joshua, come forward. Go and collect. Jerome, Mr. Richardson. Prime Nation. Sergio and Akosi. Yes, man. Yeah, man. I like it. They still are the vibes, boy. Yeah. Anna Marie. Let's hear it for Tima. Let's hear it for Ifa.
Samuel, step forward. And Dominic, let's get a round of applause for Dominic as well. It is now time for some results. We get into our People's Choice Award. We want to thank our guild representatives. Let's get a round of applause for them. So the winner of the People's Choice Award will be presented by our Coca-Cola rep, Mr. Anthony Loveless. And the winner of the People's Choice Award, let's hear it for Prime Nation! much, Mr. Loveless. We ask that you remain on stage as well. We now like to call forward Mr. Richard Achung of the Star Crib Studios to join us on stage. So here's the deal. Many of all might know this brother. He produced many hit songs. Even that Fireball song that went international. He was the man behind it. Now what he is offering for the most outstanding vocalist is actually a full session. So he's putting his time, energy and effort to our most outstanding vocalist. Hold on, I need the most outstanding vocalist. Okay, show me. Right. And our most outstanding vocalist this evening is Janea Clark. As judged by Richard. This is all, Richard. Now, we get into where the air is rare. This is where some individuals are going to walk home with some nice amounts of cash. All right, so we're going to announce the top three. We'd like to call Registrar Dr. Defoe Gill to join us on stage to present our third place winner. Leaving here tonight, $6,000 richer, third place, let's hear it for Shamaya Lewis! Good to see the University of the West Indies Guild of Students. We say thank you to the Guild for their contributions. Thank you very much, Dr. Defer Gill. We want to call forward Professor Inda Ramnarain to join us on stage to present to second place. 
Now, while we are mentioning the cash prize, all courtesy of the University of the West Indies Student Guild, we also have other nice things in there courtesy of other sponsors like Hyatt Regency and the Caribbean Airlines, and of course, courtesy Coca Cola, who has been supportive through the entire process. In second place, Janaya Cook! All right. So you have number three and number two. Congratulations to all and thank you to everyone who collaborated on making this evening a success. We would now like to call forward our Gill Postgrad representative, our principal, and also the Honorable Minister to join us on stage for the presentation to the winner, who will be $10,000 richer. We'd also like Mr. Loveless from Coca-Cola to join us on this side of the stage for this presentation. So let's get our distinguished panel of presenters center stage. Are you ready to find out who's the winner? Who is the champion? And the winner of the first ever UE Got Talent, winning the $10,000 cash prize, courtesy of the University of the West Indies Guild of Students. Let's hear it for Emmanuel Joseph! What a wonderful way to end this evening. We say thank you to everyone who contributed so much to making You We Got Talent 2019 a possibility. Congratulations to Emmanuel. Thank you to our presenters. And thank you to all our acts tonight for doing greatness on this stage. My name is Hans DeVeens. Good night. Please have a safe journey onward, and God bless you. This was Ewing Got Talent 2019.